Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bella with Bella Hitana Tarot. If you're new, welcome. All right, so I know I've been gone a couple of days and I just want to say that I'm just trying to go with the flow with things. You know, I feel like I'm coming to a crossroads where I don't know where I fit in with my YouTube or my TikTok. <laughs> Lately, I've noticed I've gotten a lot of traction on my TikTok. So if you're not following me there, be sure to do so. It's the same name, Bella Hitana Tarot. But yeah, um, I just wanted to finally do a video, you know, because I wasn't even planning on recording a video today, but something told me you need to just do one, right? <laughs> Since we just had the new moon in Taurus yesterday, I kind of wanted to see what does spirit want us to know for the collective. So this could be a divine masculine reading. It could not. Let's just see what comes out first. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of new decks here that I got. I got the Arrows of Love Tarot by Mystic Moon Oracles. And I can't wait to use this deck. I really love it. And um, then I also got the Millennial Oracle. I think I used it last time. And um, this is also from Mystic Moon Charm Cards, Mystic Moon Oracles. So I'm really excited to use these because it gets really meaty. <laughs> okay. So, that being said, let me start off with the Millennial Oracle and see what comes out first, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. And I already shuffled the decks, so let's just see. Okay, so we have Trash, a low-class person, not worth trying, nonsense, poor quality, worthless, useless. Ooh, somebody is pure basura, okay? <laughs> then we have Swerve here at the bottom. To change direction abruptly, not interested, to send for a loop, dodging someone, to dismiss. Wow. So I feel like um, you guys might be coming across people that are low vibe, that you're just trying to like clean house. You're not trying to deal with them. Okay. This could also be the masculine is trying to clear out uh, things out of his life that, you know, doesn't serve purpose. Okay. Let's just see what else comes out to clarify this. Yeah, look at that, spiritualist. Searching for the meaning in life, discovering the magic around you, manifestation, the spirit realm. I'm kind of getting here that somebody is waking up. Like somebody's finally realizing that they have too much toxicity in their life and they need to just swerve, like dodge those things. It could be habits. It could be, you know, jobs. I mean, it could just be a total revamp of your life, right? Bottom, bottom of the deck, we have shipping. They believe in the relationship, wishing you stayed together, rooting for the partnership. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like somebody wants to meet, somebody wants to be eye to eye with somebody, you know, you see how they're holding hands and like looking into each other's eyes. I feel like somebody wants to finally wrap things up. Like they're done with the negativity. They're wanting to really search for the meaning of life and they're wanting to manifest a new relationship or, or you know, some, some kind of reconciliation. Okay, let's get a charm card to see what is this about? Oh, wow. We got camera memories. So yeah, I feel like some of you may be going through like a inventory where you're taking stock of where you've been, where you don't want to be, you know, what needs to go, what doesn't. Yeah, it's like you're, you're finally maturing. You're done with the clown. You're done with the games. Like you're you're fi you're finally becoming more mature as a result, and you're cutting out people that are immature. You know. Let's just see what else. Yeah, look at this butter smooth over. I feel like you're done with people buttering you up. Like you're finally seeing right through it. This is like a milestone for you, right? You're finding out like they're sweet sweetness and finally um you're finding out that there's good and finally cutting things out that you otherwise would have uh, totally stood by yeah it's like now the time is up right duration like now the time is up you're finally um done with the bs is what i'm getting and this could also be if it's a relationship somebody is done playing games with you know if they were dealing with a third party 
they're finally wanting to smooth things over with you and this will be a milestone maybe somebody's birthday's coming up okay doesn't have to be but this could be something around surrounding a birthday so let's pull a tarot why is camera here memories okay so this card flipped up the four of hearts which is a four of cups boredom funny how the colors look alike too we got pink and blue purple this reminds me of ariel the little mermaid water energy maybe you could be a water sign especially with the four of cups so i feel like somebody's bored of their environment they're bored of the same old same old you know they want to make new memories and they're tired of this see i hate when the cards are new i can't pick them up <laughs> okay yeah somebody's bored with what they're settling for and they're ready for something new look at that they're ready for somebody to fan the flame somebody is more alluring more exciting a little bit mysterious with the sunglasses this is the king of wands actually Ooh. okay maybe you're dealing with the fire sign but this could also be like if it's job related or something like that you're really wanting to see what else is out there you're tired of your job like you're honestly this kind of feels like my reading too because and not to say that I'm bored of YouTube, but I feel like I've gotten through a slump right now. And it's really hard to get my motivation back. So yeah, guys, if you're going through something like that, comment below and let me know. Maybe, you know, I want to see how you guys are feeling because I don't want to be the only one. <laughs> or, you know, maybe I am the only one and it's all good. But let me know if this resonates, okay? All right, so let's see. Now we have swerve. You're swerving clowns. I know I had to do that before. <laughs> swerving the players or swerving those jobs that you know are no good, right? Swerving things that you know are not at your level. Wow, look at this. Aggressive. Seeker of arrows. This is the Knight of Wands. No, I'm sorry. The Knight of Swords. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get used to her uh, verbiage here so yeah I mean this is like Cupid's arrow it's like you're trying to trust the angels that they're guiding you where you need to go like they're, they're helping you close doors that need to be closed and you're being aggressive about you're not wasting time you know what I mean look at that ebb and flow with the wheel of fortune wow exactly like you're this is divine timing this is like wrapping up cycles like you're not you're not dilly dallying okay so with spiritualist and smooth over with butter we have the page of cups here flirtations okay like i was saying earlier i feel like somebody wants to smooth things over with you if that's the situation look at that chariot at the bottom travel this could also be that you're curious to see what other opportunities are out there for you if it's related to a job Sorry that I keep going back and forth with different um, scenarios, but I mean, not everybody wants to hear about relationships, right? So take it how it resonates for you. So let's see, why is um, shipping here with cake milestone? And on the words here, it says love is. So it could be that somebody's finally believing what love is, where they didn't believe in it before. And this is a milestone for them, right? Because maybe they were just a realist, a pessimistic person, jaded. This could also be if it's related to a job. Look at the wheel of fortune flipped over. So yeah, I feel like this is like the perfect timing for you to achieve what you want, something that's at your level that you see eye to eye with, that you feel like this is right up to par with what you want, what's in your destiny. And then we have the ace of keys. This is the ace of pentacles, opportunity, wow. So yeah, this is an opportunity to be able to open up, to accept ebb and flow, to receive, right? A milestone to receive, you know, the sweetness that's due to you, like abundance, okay? This is the queen of pentacles. Yeah, beautiful. All right. So let's pull the Zodiac 108 here to see, to summarize this reading, and then we'll go to the next thing. Okay, we have scuba diver. Going within, observation, zero point. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind in the void, desire to know or self-reflection, disconnecting, deep thought, subliminal. I feel like this is somebody that's finally, um, 
diving deep into the depths of what is it that they desire in their life. Remember how I said the spiritual is looking for the meaning of life, the spirit realm. I feel like somebody's awakening to what they really want in their life and what they can do without. This could also be somebody's finally starting to figure out what their purpose is in life. You know, it could be career wise. It could be where they fit in in the community. Um, it's like they're really deep in thought of what they want to do next. If this is a divine masculine, this could be where he's finally diving deep into his emotions. He could very well be awakening. I feel like I, I posted that in my last video where he was awakening and that's a miracle, right? <laughs> So somebody is finally tapping into their subconscious and, you know, we are having the full moon in Sagittarius on the 26th of this month and that's a super full moon. So that's going to be in incredible. It's a flower moon, blood moon. And so a lot of things are going to come to the surface. So I feel like right now you or your divine masculine, take it how it resonates, are in this self-reflection Disconnecting from what no longer serves, what doesn't excite you, what keeps you stagnant. Really trying to get to the bottom of your emotions so that you can know how to proceed, how to be able to start over when you see an opportunity and be able to have the wheel turning in your favor. You know what I mean? Bottom of the deck, we have bodybuilder, power, strength, forceful, right? Determined, disciplined. Vigor, domination, push forward, influence, leverage, mastery, resolve, intense, resistance, self-improvement, exercise, right? So honestly, if a lot of you have been very surfacey and not diving deep into your subconscious, not doing shadow work, you know, just getting by, I feel like you finally reached a point where now you're like, you know what, I'm tired of still being in the same stagnant energy. I got to do something different, right? So now you're diving deep. And this is making you stronger. You're finally discovering your power. You know what I mean? Like you're becoming more dominant, more focused. Um, it's helping you to be able to influence what you want the outcome to be. Working with the universe, right? This is Capricorn's energy. This is Pisces. So it's interesting because we have that dreamy energy with Pisces and we have the boss energy with Capricorn. And these add up to a 10, right? And 10 breaks down to a one. One is basically manifesting. Like this is about you finally manifesting the outcome that you want so that you can be in control of what you can control. So you can improve yourself, self-improvement. Maybe some of you are working on your fitness, right? Like Fergie says, <laughs> maybe you're a bodybuilder. Maybe you're a scuba diver. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but I honestly feel like this is just, showing that you guys are finally done with stagnant energy and you're getting the wheels going right because you have the wheel of fortune here beautiful okay so let's just check on the masculine that was pretty interesting <laughs> yeah let's just see what's going on with the masculine for the collective okay what's going on with your person Oh my God. Look at all these cards that flew out. Okay. We have by Felicia, bounce and goals. This is kind of reminding me of the last spread we just did. Leaving and not caring, a goodbye for now, dismissing over it, whatever. Somebody's turning their back. They're facing the emotions there. That kind of looks like the river walk. I don't know. Um... <laughs> Bounce, leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrap it up. Oh my God. And didn't I say wrap it up earlier with shipping, right? They believe in the relationship, wishing to stay together, rooting for the partnership. You know, shipping, love is. I feel like love is shipping out. Love, love is sailing out of reach. And now I feel like your person is starting to realize what love is. Now that it's leaving, now that it's leaving the dock, now they're like, wait, you know, that's always how it works, huh? <laughs> they're like, don't go. It says here, goals, wanting what someone else has, what you're trying to attain, subtly expressing jealousy. Wow. Now the light bulb's going off. Like, don't leave because now I realize that you mean something to me. Oh my God. I almost bent this card. This one I almost bent. That's crazy. 
trolls intentionally upsetting you trying to get a reaction disruption arguments petty i feel like your person was acting like they didn't want you and now that you're leaving now they're like oh well this is backfiring on me because i don't want this to happen like not really i just want to upset them i don't want them to completely leave right wow <laughs> one more spirit yeah see they were just flexing they were just pretending they were all about themselves, selfish traits, pride, flashy, arrogance, insincere, boasting. You know, there's two mirrors here and it shows three different people in the reflection, right? So I feel like your person was showing different sides. This gave me like Gemini energy vibes, but they were just flexing. They were just faking that they didn't want this connection. But now they see you as their bae. Before anyone else, someone's special pet name, lover, couple, love life. Okay. Wow. Let's just see. What is this by Felicia energy about? Yeah, see? You know, this reminds me of the number eights for karma. So your person is now trying to focus on work is what I'm getting. Now, or they also want to like work on this now that you're leaving. Yeah, look at that. The ace of pentacles at the bottom. <laughs> Now they want to work on this now that you're like, bye, because we have a masculine and a feminine here. And she's saying the peace sign, like, bye, you know, like, I'm done. And he's still wanting to work on the connection now. Or if he didn't, now he's wanting to. Why is bounce here? We have two feminines here saying, I'm out, bounce, like, bye. Maybe your name is Felicia. I don't know. But <laughs> maybe your masculine name is Felix or something. I don't know. <laughs> Why is bounce here? See the king of swords. Yeah, you're cutting somebody out uh, out of a connection with the hierophant at the bottom. Okay, so you're finally letting your inner masculine take charge. You're cutting people off like you're done. You're very cold. You're just like, you got your shades on, just like that master of flames we saw earlier, the king of wands. Yeah, the king of wands. You're like about your goals. Like you're not going to wait on nobody. Okay, wanting what someone else has, what you're trying to attain, subtly expressing jealousy. Why is that here, spirit? Wow, look at that. Somebody regrets that. Okay, they regret living in fear. And, you know, the moon represents, you know, your shadow. So being jealous is part of your shadows, right? non-action not taking action towards you eight of swords i mean this person was hiding things from you and being petty and now they regret it because of, there's a five of cups here so now they're in this energy where they wish they would have gone a different direction and not played games we saw the clown card earlier and like the first spread said i'm done with with games and this one just flew out of my hand so somebody is overwhelmed that they were all about themselves. Now they're figuring out the page of cups. It's like they want to apologize, right? Because they know they're reflecting. They could also be trying to see you as that you're being selfish, but you're being selfish for your own good. You know what I mean? And so your person can't see straight because they're not, they're not seeing you for who you really are. They're just trying to see things from all different angles, but this is all about ego, you know what I mean? So I just get here that your person um, with a disco ball here, it's like they're not being serious. Or they could also think that you're flexing, like that you're faking, that you're actually moving on. And this is stressing them out because they don't know what to believe. Okay. So they could try to come in with a page of cups to try to get you to not leave. So why is Bay here? Yep, the magician. <laughs> Netflix and chill. They want to Netflix and chill with you. I think that came out on the first time I used it on my Instagram. But yeah, this person wants to finally put all their little tools together, you know, speak their truth, bring you an offer, right? Bring the ace of wands that they want you before anybody else catches you. Yeah, six of pentacles. Before anybody else gives to you, they're like, I'm going to miss my chance because my person is leaving. 
And we have the Four of Pentacles here at the bottom. Like, they don't want to let you go. Okay. Wow. Let's get one card here to summarize this reading spirit. What do we need to know? Look at that. Sapphire. This reminds me of the magician because number one here. I remember the last reading, it ended with that six and four, and I said it was a ten. The one represents manifestation, and here we have manifestation again. So that's double confirmation that somebody's starting a new beginning and the other person's like not wanting to be left behind. Sapphire, mental force, spiritual insight, hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength, kindness, life of the party, extroverted, motivate, precious, valued, holy, divine favor, revered. Okay. So now I feel like your person sees your value. If they didn't before, now they see it. Okay. And we saw a lot of blue in the last reading, the scuba diver, you know, that was a lot of blue in there, as well as the four of cups. The guy was highlighted in blue. Okay. So I feel like. Somebody wants to communicate because that's what the blue represents with their throat chakra. Okay, look at that. Did I not say somebody's leaving? And here we have the train. Somebody's leaving on a journey. And they're like, wait. <laughs> and both of these are Gemini energy. Wow. And this one says, moving on, life's journey, new endeavor, going away, one direction, on track. Focus on time, keep going forward, going with the flow, inflexible, steady climb, no resistance. Wow. So yeah, you guys, this is like a tower too. You see all that cloudy energy around that tower? I mean, it just reminds me of the tower. Somebody doesn't want somebody to change the dynamics and leave because... I feel like they got used to you always being there. And now that you are leveling up and you're, you know, taking care of business, they're like, oh, no. It's like that TikTok. Oh, no. <laughs> that little audio. Oh, no. Um. So, yeah. But I feel like this had to happen, right? For both you and your person, it had to happen in order for you guys to be on track for how this was supposed to play out. We saw the Wheel of Fortune earlier, ebb and flow, right? And it almost made me feel like the temperance was going to come out because that's what that specific card reminded me of. Because in this deck, um, temperance is the doves also. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I was thinking of temperance because look, I mean, it's the exact same imagery, the two doves. Interesting that these are white, these are black. This is like divine timing when the yin yang finally comes into merging equally, into precision, into completion, right? And so I'm just getting here that this was supposed to happen in order for your person to finally face their shadow so that they could finally complete a cycle. And stop the BS and get their shit together and come forward, right? But that's what that's what it took. It's like that song by Selena Gomez. You know, it took, what, what was it? I had to lose you to love me, right? So that's what it took. And I feel like Spirit is saying here, you guys were on track, right? You're not off track. This was supposed to happen in order for somebody to realize what they had when it was gone. And now your person's feeling it big time. So let's just close out with seeing what your person wants to say to you. All right. What does your person want to say to you? <laughs> I want to bring the space between us to an end. <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we have, we have unfinished business between us. Wow. Okay. Your person knows you're on the move. Okay. And they're tired of the separation. That's why they're working now on it. Now that you're leaving the train station, they're like, no, I want to work on it now. It's like Murphy's Law. It's like, you didn't want this when I was waiting, right? And now you want to come around when I'm already on the train waving goodbye. <laughs> it's like, now you want to come on? Come on. Okay. So let's wrap this up, right? So Spirit wants you to know, to make sure to 
bring love into the situation. Anytime you manifest anything with the new moon. And it's funny because we just had a new moon. Bottom of the deck. Your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. So yeah, I feel like we saw that Capricorn energy earlier that I mentioned. Um, you're making things happen. Like you're finally stepping into your strength, right? That everything that you've gone through served this purpose to get you where you needed to be. Okay. Let's just get one more. What do we need to know, spirit? Wow. New moon in Gemini. And we've been seeing Gemini in this reading. Crazy. We're coming up on Gemini season. Communication is key, right? We saw that shipping card earlier with the twins. I mean, they look, they look like twins. And now we have the same imagery here. Twins. One has their eyes closed. One has their eyes open. Okay. This is like a balanced energy. Yin yang. And then we have another new moon here. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. And we saw Pisces in this reading too earlier. So... I don't know if you guys have air in your chart, um, Earth, because we did see the um, the Pentacles energy. But either way, it's for the collective. I mean, it doesn't have to be that particular sign. But yeah, you guys, I feel like make sure that when you guys are speaking to whoever is involved in this, that you don't bring the ego and you bring love into the situation because that's going to get you guys where you need to be and not let ego tear things down, right? So that you can be able to stay centered and detached, right? And, you know, make sure that you meditate and contemplate and seek the answers out within you and not outside of you. Okay, so that is your reading, guys. I hope that was helpful. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so by clicking on my link below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.